Hey, have you ever tried to navigate the FCC site in order to find out where you have to go to to get a copy of your ham radio license? I know I have, and it can be kind of a nightmare, and it's a hair-pulling experience. So stick around. I'll show you exactly how to navigate that site, where to go, and how to obtain a copy of your FCC license. Hey, Steve here, K4SRF. Navigating the FCC website in order to find where you need to go to, uh, you know, get a copy, a digital copy of your ham license is, as I said, a hair pulling experience. And I don't think that they, the government wants to make anything easy for anybody. Well, I had a solution for finding this uh, site easily. And I'm going to pass that on to you in a little bit at the end of this, uh, at the end of this uh, video here. But let's go ahead and go through the FCC site itself, and I'll walk you through step by step what page to go to, where to drill down, how to find the site you need to go to to input your FRN number and your password in order to get your uh, license. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, we're about to begin our journey. So let's go ahead and open up any browser. Uh, you can use Chrome, uh, Edge, Firefox, uh, Brave, whatever. I've tried it in all the browsers, they seem to work. I've even tried it in Opera and Safari, and they work in those as well. Uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and start our journey here. We're going to go to, first thing, we're going to go to the FCC.gov site, right here, FCC.gov. Now, once we're on the, their main page here, we're going to drill down some more. We've got about uh, three different pages to drill down to, so nothing is easy with the government. I'm an ex-federal government employee, so I know for a fact that uh, nothing is simple, and that's in triplicate. So what can I say? Anyway, what we're going to do is we need to go to uh, where the, we've got to go to a link on this main page called Wireless, which of course is in the bottom of the page under bureaus and offices on the right-hand side down here, and you'll see Wireless. The wireless link there. Go ahead and click that brings us to wireless telecommunications now. Uh, from wireless telecommunications, we still have to drill, drill down again. This time we're going to the left side of the page under wireless telecommunications, obviously. Uh, we're going to go to uh, licensing ULS, the Universal License Service. Click that link. It's on the left-hand side. Okay, Universal License System. And, uh, oh, here's a notification, at least as of this uh, video. They're changing their uh, fees here, but uh, on a positive note, there is a positive note, but I digress. I don't want to get off on a tangent here. Anyway, trying to get to our license here. We're on the universal license page now. So what we need to do is we need to go to filing. We're going to their online system. So we're going to filing. We're going to the center option here, file online. Go ahead and click that. And that's where we need to be. Okay, here is your license manager for the FCC is where you can get your uh, ham radio license or your GMRS license. You can download them, print a copy out, save the digital copy for yourself, whatever you want to do. But you need to have your FRN number, which I don't have, obviously, you do, and your password associated with that FRN number. Now, without those, you're not going to get anything, but fear not if you're starting to sweat, if you can't remember what your number is. Uh, you forgot your password. You've got helpful links here on the left-hand side. Need an FRN? Not sure. What, if you have an FRN, you can check, and it'll give you the if you put your um uh, if you put your call sign in, it'll give your information for that call sign. Uh, you can contact the FCC. They're pretty good in responding uh, within just a few days. At least that was my experience. So I've not really had any problems with them at all. But here's where you type in your FRN number and and your password. And what this will do is it'll bring up a list of all your licenses. If you have a ham and a GMRS, it'll give you complete history on both of those licenses, uh, when they were issued and their expiration dates. Uh, it'll show you your current address. And don't forget, if you do move, if you do move, you do have to, re you do have to change your, uh, home, ad home address for the FCC license. And all this can be done on the license manager page. Well, anyway, as I said, I was going to give you a quick way to get to this page if you needed it. 
and you'll find that description in the uh, it, or that link in the description that is. Uh, I'm going to give you a, just the URL to this page directly, so you don't have to navigate through all the uh, the jungle trying to get to this particular page to get the information for your license. Well, anyway, I hope this information has been helpful for you, and hope this keeps you from uh, hours of frustration and hair pulling and figuring out where in the hell your license is uh, at and how are you going to get a copy of it. So, again, this is Steve, K4SRF. Enjoy the airways. Till next time.